with the absence of Field General Jackie Towell, the two next men up on captaincy is none other than the battery mate of Mikey Shalom and Elliot Antibi. You're going up against a team tonight that I'm pretty sure they're very under the radar. There's not a lot of personality or character, but when you look at it, they just get wins. A.B. Sack is that winning pitcher. Mikey, you know, going, going up against their lineup, how do you believe the game plan should be? You did silence them week one of the season. One nothing win, you give one hit. And uh, how are you going to replicate that tonight? Well, let me uh, speak first. Well, if you noticed in uh, week one, I believe Mikey pitched almost a shutout. Um, these guys, I think, in my opinion, have a very hard time hitting Mikey. So it's definitely going to be a defensive game. Um, the league was also kind, kind enough to give us uh, Joe and Buka as uh, replacements for left and center field, which I think were very generous. Uh, they're going to step up. They haven't played with us as a team, but we could build the chemistry in with them. Um, and we're going to take two. How do you replicate that chemistry that just automatically is being taken off your team and putting new guys into the semis? Let's see how that, fair, how that, how that shakes out. Well, we got to get these guys pumped straight from the get-go. Right when these guys come, they're going to come into the huddle. We're going to get them psyched. We're going to get the feel for, for everyone, how we play. And as the innings go on, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take it in inning by inning. Like I said, this Mike is uh, up for uh, Mikey to pitch shutout. This is like a Penn and Teller act, Mike. I need you to talk. <laughs> uh, well, when we played them week one, I think maybe 80% of my team uh, we haven't played in over a year up until then, and we played probably some of our best softball of the year. Uh, now we haven't we played one day in the last 38. I believe. So uh, we're cold, but we... Uh, Last time on the field, you lost that. to the eliminated m and holes, so... Yeah, well, we were very cold, they were very hot. We hadn't played in 21 days, and uh, they surprised us, and we were ready for them to play them now if we had to. All right, Mike, Mikey, Elliot, lots of luck tonight. Uh, tonight, we may have a World Series contender. Uh, we might split and go game three next week, but either way, good luck. Thank you, Thank you. We're here moments before the semi-final matchup. Winner takes on Get Swifty in the championship. Welcome back, Yaakov Zari. You had a three-week hiatus. You went to Israel, Italy, Barcelona, uh, Bora Bora. Now that you're back, uh, what's the game? I know you're fired up, but do you feel like you're going to be rusty having not swung a bat in three weeks? Um, I don't feel like I'm going to be rusty. I'm going to do what I do all, every time I play. Um, we're ready to fight. Our team is unbelievable. Maybe sack on the mound. Well, you are the heart and soul and the character of the team. They're going to need you to keep that up. I am going to be screaming my head off tonight, guys. Just get ready. All right, guys, and, good luck. Uh, good luck. We'll, we'll uh, keep up from there. Let's go. And now we're going to shift focus to tonight's starting shortstop, Let's go. rookie oh. Ellie Siegel. Ellie like. Siegel came into the season wanting to play shortstop, did not get an opportunity because there was just too many shortstops, and he played second base to the best of his ability, probably better than anyone in the league this year. Ellie, camera's this way if you want to look up. And uh, it's, listen, this is the biggest stage you ever played on in this league. Uh, all eyes on you, you're playing short. Uh, I hope you don't have the butterflies. It's only natural if you do. But uh, the, the infield action here is really soft and raked. So uh, what's your game plan going in? I know you found out about this an hour ago. Uh, so first things first, uh, we're going to miss Zach tonight. You know, he's uh, been, been with us the whole year. He's been killing it for us. The speed is what he brings to the team. So that's first things first. We're going to try to get this win for Zach and bring it to the World Series. As far as butterflies, I mean, I've been at shortstop my whole life, you know, I feel like I'm coming back home, so I'm excited, but, um, you know, I'm just going to go out there, try to do the best I can do, and let's get to the World Series. Well, lots of luck, Ellie. We're here with the captain of Shim Shady, Shimmy Cohen. Last year, you lost in a heartbreaker in the World Series. I know you're on a revenge tour. That's why you paired up with A.B. Saki again yeah, with that guys. core. Five guys. Five unreal. Shimmy, you're going up against a really good team, good defense, timely hitting. What's your plans going into tonight, and what do you got to say about the Tigers? Um, from week one, we lost two games to them. And uh, I know that if we had the first seed, we would pick them. And if they had the first seed, they would pick us. So it's uh, funny how it worked out that way. Heads up. Head up, head up. Nice play. And uh, we are excited to face them. I was, uh, I don't know if you guys know, everybody knows by now. About 4, 4 30, I was ready to take a nap. I was uh, cool as a cucumber, and uh, you can edit that one out. No, you were cool as a cucumber, and also what happened, I, uh, Zach Ashkenazi. Uh, Zach calls me, and he sends me a picture of his toe. Uh, and uh, yeah, last three he tore hours. Tore his toe, he has four stitches, you had to get a stitches. sub. He thought he would be able to play, probably, uh, possibly, but the pain just got worse and worse. 
And uh, we got a sub. Now we have Ellie Siegel playing shortstop. Sure they got full confidence in him. I've seen him play. Um, early in the season, I didn't give him the chance because I want them to get used to the infield. I think he's going to be great tonight. Full confidence in him. And uh, with Jimmy's bat, I'm ready to go. Lots of luck tonight, Shim. Maybe after tonight, you'll be in the World Series again. We're here with Chippendale Loudon, on? one of the feel good stories of the year from undrafted to finding his way and being an impact player. To being an impact player. Way years ago, the captains didn't find their way. There you go. That's the confidence, and that's the reason why he is where he is today. He's one of the leaders in the clubhouse, having a great offensive year. Sam Loudon back in the semifinals. Two more wins here in the ship. So. That's right. Tonight, Sam. That's it. You know? Sam talking to Sam. Much as I love Al, you know, and the other guys on the team, it's uh, game time, you know? So we're ready to go. We feel good, and uh, that's it. Well, good luck, Sam. Yeah, A.B. Saka, back with Shimmy Cohen, last year lost in the World Series. You're back here in the LCS Championship Series, two wins away against these Tigers, very cocky Tiger squad. A.B., give me some words about the Tigers and how you feel like tonight's going to go. Um, game could go either way. They beat us the first week of the season. Swept us. Um, we're focused though. Tonight's a little different. No JT, they have Joe S. Um, and no like, Zach, and you have Jimmy. We'll get there. The JT, Joe S is like splitting hairs, honestly. It's uh, two different players, but both top notch players. Um, they're also missing El Harari, they have Buka. Um, my mind, El Harari is playing Gold Glove left field. Um, Buka could bring more dynamic hitting wise. We're missing Zach. We found out about an hour and a half ago, Zach. For his toe, um, he wanted to play. Um, I think it could go either way, honestly. To be really, really honest, it can go either way. Do you have any specific game plan, uh, pounding the inside, outside? We'll see uh, after the game, what my game plan Well, no one's going to watch this until after the game, so. My game plan is to pitch tough like I always do, and uh, just come ready to win. And we know you're you're one of the one of the biggest bulldogs in the league. So you and Mike, you're actually neck and neck in that department, so let's see who prevails. Uh, the thing I'll say right now, and ball from now, it's going to be the outcome of tonight's game. The team that makes, makes less mental errors. Not physical, but mental. Physical errors are going to happen. It's whichever team makes less mental It sounds like a preview of the huddle that's going to be in a few minutes. It uh, was, the, was the preview of the huddle for the team. Right? There you go. Good luck tonight. I'm going to side the, Everybody get inside, inside the Shim Shady huddle. It's like I said, it's like I said in the game. Do not take this team lightly. Okay, they picked up Joe S, they picked up Pete. Do not think, do not get crazy. Every at bat. We're missing Zach, we know it. Single, we, we, we have full confidence in Every at bat, we've got to focus Listen, on Listen, it's, it's about, like I said in the chat, it's about mental mistakes. Cut down those mental mistakes and we're going to win this game. Um, what are we doing? We're going four on Joe S, we said? No, I'm going to do three. Shady, shady. Look oh. Joe S, 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 Get the ball down hard and low. I don't want to see you strike out of the ball. Guys, Jenny on three! One, two, three, Jenny! We're here for the start of the semifinal round. Tigers taking on Shim Shady. A.B. Saka on the mound. Carlos Abati leads it off. And here's the 0-2 pitch. Fisted. Base hit. First batter of the game. On with a bloop single. And Carlos Sabati gets the Tigers started. Stepping to the plate, Joe Seferati. Here in the stead of the captain, Jackie Towell. And the first base hit left field. And Lowe's goes from first to third. And Joe S goes to second. And he's there for the double. And Joe Seferati doing all he can and then some. And subbing him for Jackie Towell. We have second and third, one out. Ground ball, the only place you don't want to Butchie, he feels it, holds his foot on the bag, but a run scores. One nothing, Tigers. Hot shot, base hit, and Joe S comes in to score, and it's two nothing, Tigers. Buka with a big rip. Bottom one, down two, lead off base hit by the captain, and Shimmy Cohen answers back with a base hit of his own. Runner on first, two out, Hank Dweck, the batting champion, trying to get things cooking for Shim Shady. That's a bullet base hit! Hank Dweck comes through, 
and Jimmy Malak's on his way to third. Throw is not in time, and Hank coasts into second base, and it's second and third, two out. And now with Jamie Dweck stepping to the plate, a base hit could pull it even. Second and third, two out, down to nothing. Crucial at bat here early on in game one of the semifinals. Jamie Dweck, ground ball, and it's down to the legs! Oh, Dave cannot come up with it! Run scores! And they give one run right back. And now Avi Dweck steps to the plate, looking to tie it up. That ball went right through the legs of Gabe Abadi. And there it is again. But Shimmy Cohen makes the catch. What a play by Shimmy. Two on, one out. Top three, three one count to Joe S. High fly ball, deep right field. Loudon retreats, and that ball one hops the right field wall. They got a late jump. Saldi comes in to score. Carlos Abadi holds that third, and Joe S with a ribby double over the right fielder's head, and it's three to one Tigers. And this is Joe S's game tonight. Base is loaded, two out after the intentional walk to Buka. Smart managerial decision, as Edmund has yet to come out of his shell, and we're in the playoffs. And he blooks it the other way, and he makes him pay! And here comes Joe West, and two runs come in to score, and it's 5-1 Tigers. First and second, two out. 5-1 Tigers. Ah. A.B. Saka trying to add his jam, and give Shim Shady a chance to come back into this one. And it's a high fly ball, deep center field, and he makes the catch in center field. Shimmy Cohen with the over the shoulder catch to save two, possibly three. And the score is 5-1 Tigers. High fly ball, deep left field, and that ball goes over the fence in foul territory. That ball went over the fence. Oh man, he missed a three run bomb by an inch. Counts to one and one. Hank DeWeck pops it up this time. Joe West there for the call, the catch, two away. Two on, two out. Big moment here for the rookie. Looking for some redemption after that defensive error. And there's a hot shot, deep left center field. And that ball splits the gap, goes all the way to the wall. Zeruya scores, Loudon scores. And Ellie Siegel stops that second for a huge two-run double. And we have ourselves a ball game, 5-3. After the clutch, two out, two RBI double from the rookie, Ellie Siegel, Shimmy Cohen, the captain, pops it off to the infield. Gabe there for the catch, and it's 5-3. Here's the pitch, ground ball. Siegel Fields goes the easy way and they strand him loaded and we go to the bottom of the sixth and the score is 5-3 Tigers. Brown ball and it eats up Cruz but Gabe Fields on the relay and he still got him. What a play by Gabe Abadi. Picks up the carom off of Marcus after he picks up the sloppy seconds and guns him out at first. Mikey. And out of way, taking game one of the semis. High fly ball, Joe S there, makes the catch on the run, and the Tigers win game one by a score. Game two underway. Tigers looking to advance to the World Series. Shim Shady, after an error by Joe. Top one, no score, game two. Lead off man in a hot shot to third where Melt couldn't come up with it. And Malach hits a bomb, right center field gap, and almost comes up with it, but the ball is rolling out there. Shimmy Cohen, he's gonna score. Malach at third with a triple. One nothing, Shim Shady. That was a bomb, but Carlos Sabati almost made a crazy play. And it's runner on third, nobody out. Runner on third, nobody out. Top of the first, one nothing, Shady. First pitch, base hit left field. That was a rocket. Run scores, 2-0. And Butchie's going to second base. Heads up, base running. There for the hustle, double. 
High fly ball. That gets the job done. Joes there makes the catch. Here comes the tag. Three, nothing. Shim Shady. Big inning to lead off game two. Hello. Hot shot. Jimmy, oh, and it goes through his legs. It gets by Buckner. Two run score. And another error this inning cost Shim Shady dearly. Three to two with two out. And still two on. Elliot Antibi. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. But they score two. Runner on first. One out. Jimmy Malak hits a bullet. Left field gap. And Jimmy Cohen slows a bit. Joe Ash has a really strong arm. He holds. And Jimmy goes to second. Second and third. One out. What a shot by Jimmy. Ground ball. Jordy Fields bobbles. Everybody save. Run scores. And the score is four to two. Shim Shady. And they still have two on. And only one man out. And Shim Shady has Hank DeWeck looking to get back on track. There's a bullet. Joe S charges. Cannot make the play. Jimmy Maloff rounds third. Here's the relay to the plate. Out at the plate. What a throw and what a tag. Wow. The game should be tied real soon. Ground ball blocked by Saka. Fields, wild throw to first. Rommel's gonna come around to score. And the score is tied at four on the ground ball that went off the pitcher. And the Tigers are in business as they tie it up. Second and third, one out, score tied at four. Ellie Siegel first pitch swinging, and it's an infield pop, and that ball may drop, and it's dropped! I can't believe it! And Siegel safe at second! Heads up, base running! And they take the lead 5-4 on the pop-up, and they're second and third, still only one man out. Second and third, one out, 5-4 Shady, and there's a bloop left field! What a catch by Saul DeWeck! That was insane! Second and third, one out. Down 5-4, Tigers looking to advance to the World Series. Saka trying to stave off elimination. In last innings, defensive star Saul Dweck steps to the plate, and he hits a bloop left field, and he does it again! Score is tied at five, and he can't hang on to the throw at third, and it's five all, and Saul Dweck heads up, goes to second base, and Shim Shady is falling apart in the field. Has his work cut out for him. Slow runner at third. Let's see if that pays dividends. Hot shot, short, Siegel Fields comes home, and he's out at the play. Great play, Ellie Siegel cuts off the lead run, and there's two men out. Joe S looming on deck, AB wants this batter. Oh, line drive, left field, there for the catch, and they get out of it with a play at the plate, and then a bomb to left. The score is tied at five as we go to the fifth. Runner on first, one out, score tied at five. We're in the fifth. Hank DeWeck, bullet off the arm of Rommel. Almost a great grab, and now we have two on, one out. And he takes a cold strike too, looking for the walk. That was a damage pitch. There's a line drive, left field coming on, and it's a base hit. And Shimmy Cohen got a late jump. Gave a batty, throw is wild, score is 6-5, and Hank DeWeck hustles to third, and it's second and third, one out, 6-5, Shim Shady in the fifth. Big hit by Jamie DeWeck. One ball, one strike, one out, base is loaded. One already in, it's 6-5, Shim Shady. And Yakov Saruya goes the other way, and he looks to tag. And Hank scores, heads up base running, and the score, is 7-5. Two on. Two out. Chip and Dale Loudon has a knack of coming through in these moments. And it's a ground ball in the hole. What a diving play by Gabe. Bear hands, and he's saved. Almost an insane play, but he did save a run. Runner on second. And Booga pops it up. 
That's a big induced pop-up by A.B. Saka to get the second out this inning. Runner on second, two out, bottom five. Edmund Dweck takes ball one. Edmund looks like a different hitter tonight than he did all season long. Ground ball, nice stop, makes a flip, and he's wild. Oh, and he makes the catch and he calls him out. Great job, ABJ. Runner on first, nobody out. Top of the seventh score, 7-5. Seven, Shady looking for some insurance, and Hank gets a bullet under the legs of Jordy, right through the wickets, not having the best night. And it's first and second, nobody out. Full count, two out, runners in the corner, 7-5. Shim Shady. Saruya skies one, left side, Buka can't hang on! Saruya comes through! 8-5, and Saruya goes to second! Big two out hit from Yakov Saruya! One ball, two strike, two out, second and third, scores 8-5, Shim Shady in the top of the seventh. Sam Loudon looking to put away the Tigers, and stave off elimination, and fight to live another day. Low. Line drive, base hit, left field. Jamie scores. Here comes Saruya. There it is, 10, five. And Jim Shady comes alive at the bottom of the order, picks him up, and that should do it, and push for a game three. Base is loaded, two out. Top seven, Shim Shady. And the captain rips a bullet to left. One run scores. Here comes two. It's 12-5. And Shim Shady is breaking this game wide open. Five runs with two out. And Jimmy Mala smokes a bullet up the middle. ABJ coming around to score. And the score is 13-5. And Shimmy Cohen heads up alertly goes to third. And they're pouring it on and stomping on their throats. Runner on second, two out, bottom of the seventh. Shim Shady one out away, but forcing a game three. And Joe S hits a high fly ball. Shimmy there for the catch. And we're going to a decisive game three. Shim Shady with a big time victory with their backs against the walls.